I can't believe I'm with a superhero. <laughs> Okay, we're taking that. Hey everybody, I'm Albert, and today we're going to be extra creative with AI because I have been asked to contribute something to the Inconvenience Store. Now, the Inconvenience Store is an experience on VR chat created by Walljump Gaming, who um, produces products with AI that um, are kind of gross and weird, like, uh, for example, teeth cereal or toenail chips. So uh, he DM'd me on TikTok and um, asked me if I had any ideas, and I said, yeah, let's make a bargain bin DVD um, collection. So if you don't know what that is, it's like cheap DVDs that are available in supermarkets, right? Like these these kind of $1 things that are knockoffs of famous children's movies, like Ratatouille or Life's a Jungle or Finding Jesus, Captain Battle, Legacy War, this kind of nonsense, which of course would fit perfectly into an inconvenience store where nothing you get is the real deal. So we both are going to use AI, both GPT-3 for the text and Stable Diffusion or DALI for the images to create a discount DVD. Then I'm going to send my generated texture to him to turn into an actual 3D DVD that you can then go visit in the Inconvenience Store in VRChat. So because this project is going to have a 3D model in the end, I created this little template that we're both going to be using of a DVD case cover, right? So there's a back, which has text and images and stuff, the side, which just has the title, and the front, which is obviously the cover of the movie. And then down here, we have just photos of um, a DVD case that I just took with my phone. So we can kind of put that on the side of the model. So throughout this video, I'm gonna be cutting back and forth between the two of us so you can just follow along and see the weird stuff we come up with. Enjoy. So I've got GPT-3 open here and I'm gonna ask it to generate a synopsis for a cheesy knockoff animated children's movie about some kind of anthropomorphic Thick. Just fix that real quick. Object or animal with surreal overtones. All right, let's hit submit. Oh shit, we got a Veggie Tales knockoff. When the world is falling apart, the last thing anyone expects is for a talking eggplant to show up and save the day. Tell me the summary of a romantic comedy starring two random A-list actors. A young woman falls in love with a man she met on a blind date, only to discover that he's the wealthy heir to a large corporation. They must overcome their differences to find happiness together. Okay, that's not absurd enough. Um, give me five fictional characters. Spider-Man, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, The Incredible Hulk. Okay, wow, that's very superhero. Um, tell me the summary. Okay, so maybe we do a young woman falls in love with a man is the wealthy Air is secretly a superhero. It says when the world is falling apart, but it doesn't say why the world is falling apart. So I'm going to use a different AI called PseudoWrite, which has a tool to generate plot points. Give me a list of reasons the world is falling apart. And then for the context, I'll just paste in what I got from GPT-3. And then for the examples, we'll say Godzilla, the dinosaurs are back, a supervillain pumpkin is on the loose. All the humans have been raptured. And one more. A wizard replaced all the water with Kool-Aid. And I'm just gonna add the word wacky onto the front of the prompt. Let's see what we get. Don't want it to be a zombie movie. Don't want it to be centered around people. No, no. Giant ants from space? Yeah, that's the one. I want names. Names for a superhero who can read minds. Okay, let's get some names. Maybe I can, okay, I think I have to remove names. Yeah, these are actual emperor mind reader. Captain X-Ray. Okay, I don't want the real ones. Golden girl. Just mind reader, emperor mind reader. <laughs> let's take emperor mind reader. Because how would she know? He's the emperor. Mental Mercury. Oh, that's cool. Mental Mercury. Okay, that's just a song. That's not an actual superhero. Okay, very cool. Secretly the superhero Mental 
Mercury, who can, who has been reading her mind this whole time, has been reading her mind this whole time. Boone was handsome, charming, and exotic, with a deep and soothing voice. He was the sort of man she had always wanted, but never believed she would find. As they got to know each other better over dinner, Sarah learned the details of Boone's life. He had just graduated college and was preparing to move to Italy to study opera. Good, so we have our text for the back jacket. I'm just going to bring this here into my template because it goes on the back, right? Just paste that in here and we'll take care of formatting a little later. Images. Let's get on the images and do more text later. So before I even get into any details, I just want to see how good um, Stable is at generating movie posters, right? I'm expecting a lot of text, so if I just do movie poster of a romantic comedy about a woman who loves a superhero, and then put all the standard kind of quality terms in there. So here are some that I've seen by the founder of Stability AI um, work well. So studio, lighting, high quality, dramatic, cinematic, very detailed character, art, lens flare, focused digital art, and as a negative prompt, poorly drawn, ugly tiling out of frame mutation. But I'm not going to put too many in there because I do want it to be a little freaky. So I'm going to put it on the DDIM. That works pretty well. And just generate six of those. And um, as a height, I'm going to go up to 768 just so we have that vertical. So if I'm lucky, it's not going to put text in there, but I think it might. Let's generate. So obviously, because we have superhero in there, it's going to make a lot of superhero posters. So the only one that's even close is kind of this one. But I think I'm going to remove superhero first and see what it does with just romantic comedy. And I'm going to go back to the normal stable diffusion um, 1.5 model because I still had the mid journey v4 one which is now called open journey so if you want to use the mid journey one i can only recommend it just uh, look for open journey and download that so now let's just get a romantic comedy see what happens mm -hmm. stug show stug shows these people are all very beautiful Like the B-movie romantic comedies. Like I kind of want a poster like this. Something like that. Maybe a white background. So white background. Funny comedy romance. Maybe remove the dramatic. Two people kissing. Or maybe I do have to bring the superhero in. Super, man, superhero, kissing, woman. Yeah, okay, we're getting fewer superhero stuff now. They're just kind of mushing their faces together. I love it. This one looks promising. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. That's a good one. She's really messed up. The hands are super off. Okay, we have to... This one looks like a comedy. This is good. I like this. And I really appreciate that our hands are super messed up. So, of course, next we have to kind of clean it up a little bit and remove the unnecessary parts and get the cropping correct. But it left us a lot of space down here, so I do appreciate that. So this is totally fine. Um, because we're going to crop it anyway, and I just needed to remove the text. So. Oh, I like that he's flying in that one. That's funny. Her, uh, her front is a little disturbing in that one. I like that he's flying here. This is really disturbing. Her front is... Oh, why does she have a boxing glove on? 
Eggplant to the Rescue, a world-saving adventure. I like this. It's not super cursed yet though, so I'm making the executive decision that all of the characters, all the fruits and vegetables, have to be sexually suggestive in some way. I'm talking eggplants, bananas, papayas. I'm actually going to use Dolly 2 instead of Stable Diffusion today because I've found that it works better for this 90s CGI kind of vibe that I'm going for. So here's my prompt. 90s CGI movie poster of an anthropomorphic eggplant Veggie Tales style. I'm going to run that and I'll generate a few options to choose from. All right, so out of all of these attempts, here are my five favorites. This one is just so creepy and expressive. I really like it. I'm just concerned there wouldn't be enough room for the characters in the background because he's to have like a whole squad. This one, the art style of the character is perfect and I love the nose coming off of him. I like how phallic that is. I don't love this hair though. I feel like he's an eggplant. His hair should just be a stem, right? This one is just purely terrifying. I, I love it. I like the sly look on this guy's face, but I don't like the background. I would probably remove that if I end up going with this. And then this one, I just really like the composition of the background and I like this title up here. It would be fun to recreate that. I think what I'll end up doing is combining this one and and this one in Photoshop. I'll just cut this dude out, place him over the other eggplant. Now I'll duplicate this background layer, select his little green hair piece here, and then press Control Shift I to invert and delete. Now I can just hide these two layers, select this fella, and we'll do a content aware fill on that. Then I'll bring this guy back and do my best to erase his hair. And I'll use the liquify filter to get it to fit better on his head. And a little bit of shading under the hair for realism. And I'll throw it back into Dolly. Now I can add a frame for it to generate the bottom of the image. Eggplant standing in a clearing. I'll accept that. Now let's go ahead and erase this whole logo because I'm going to need to replace that with readable text. This one's pretty good right here. Now I'll make a banana with this prompt and here's the result. And I'll do the same for a papaya. Yes, that's exactly as suggestive as I wanted it to be. I'll just remove those from their backgrounds and put them into our scene and then fix his hat. Now using this as a reference, I'll recreate that typography for the title using Photoshop's 3D text editor. Here's a cool trick for compositing people in the foreground when you have light in the background like this. If you take in eraser with a large size and a low hardness, then you can just kind of erase the edge of something and it gives it a little bit of light peeking through. It kind of helps marry the characters into the scene more. I'll clean up some tiny blemishes and then we can start on the back cover. Texture, I just need something for the background. And now what I want to do, because we have, you know, um, DVD sleeves, I want to generate some screenshots that we have on the back. Um, so screen, like, you know, these, these kind of scenes that are available on the back. So I want a wide screen, 20 sample steps is plenty, and a superhero in white and blue rescues a woman. Okay, so here we have a little scene. I'm just going to put those in here real quick. Okay, so here we suddenly have lightsabers involved. This man is backwards, but his head is uh, looking that way. That's very disturbing. There's these guys, too many arms and legs and whatever. There's a fist coming out of this man's butt. That is very funny. Um, this man is completely being wrecked by our superhero. I like that. And here are just way too many people performing um, martial arts with footballers, I suppose. Another lightsaber. Generally, the lighting is very cool, though. And here's just a couple of martial arts fighters standing on the road. So this one's funny. I, I, I have to take this one just because of the fist coming out of the butt. I mean, look, look at that. This one is beautiful. I, I like this one so much. I mean, his face is super messed up, but they look so happy. Um, I don't know what she's grabbing there. And he has almost no um, hips whatsoever, but it's beautiful. I don't know what he's grabbing. Um, again, her, her arm is turning into hair. This man is completely backwards. What a mess. Yeah, let's take that one. That's really funny.
Now the image I want prominently featured on the back cover is a colony of evil looking, alien looking ants. Oh yeah, those are some evil looking ants. I'll just extend that out, then I'll use the content aware fill in Photoshop to fill that out, fix this broken feeler real quick, and then I'll add the text that GPT-3 gave me. A lot of the times those DVDs have scenes from the movie on the back, so I'm gonna make three of those. Anthropomorphic eggplant fighting an evil ant, 90s CGI, DreamWorks. Yeah, that'll work. Vegetables chilling in a hot tub. Perfect. <laughs> it's pretty grim that there's other vegetables chopped up in bowls behind them, but I'll allow it. Ant themed spaceship. Wonderful. Back in Photoshop, I'll slap a stroke effect on these guys. Then I'll sample these colors and put a little gradient here. Now I'm back in GPT-3 and I'll ask it for a comedic review of the following movie containing ant and vegetable puns. The story is endearing, the characters are lovable, and the visuals are absolutely stunning. Eggplant is sure to become an instant classic, and it's sure to leave you saying, I'm excited to watch it again. <laughs> I love it. And I'll attribute that quote to the bargain bin times. I'm actually going to switch the places of where these text things go. Okay, what we need now is, you know, some a title, obviously, and some blurbs, you know, some reviews here. The review of a movie about a young woman falls in love with a superhero. It's not really a review. Short raving review. The Girl Who Loved Superman. Okay, that's one title. Is a beautiful and heartwarming story about a young woman's journey to find love. Amazing chemistry together. Okay, a beautiful and heartwarming story about a young woman's journey to find love. Gorgeous. We'll put that right in there. Which newspaper wrote that review? New York Times. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. I just wanted to confirm the facts here. Let's get a blurb about the villain. So, short raving review of a, um, of a movie about a movie with a mind reading villain called Emperor Mind Reader. You know, if this were a Marvel movie, they'd probably have um, have an explanation for how it's actually pronounced Midrader and it's German. The villain is diabolical and the action is nonstop. Okay, there you go. And who wrote this? Who wrote that review? Probably going to get a name now. The review was written by a fan of mind-bending thrillers. <laughs> yes, I can read that. Which newspaper paper published that review? New York Times. Yeah, come on. Which three newspapers published that review? Wall Street Journal. Just gave me the top. Okay. Which podcast wrote that review? Perfect. The podcast. Podcast. Excellent. Okay, time to generate a title. Give me a list of titles for a romantic comedy superhero story. Young woman falls in love with the superhero Mental Mercury. I can't believe I'm with a superhero. <laughs> Okay, we're taking that. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Okay, very, very good. Very, very good. Actually, let's let, just out of curiosity, I'm going to try to use stable to generate that that title art. We're going to fail miserably. Movie title art. Okay, so this is actually not bad. I'm going to build that real quick in Blender. Okay, let's render this and see what happens. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's a little hard to read on the red dress, yeah. Although, you know, if I can maybe just kind of... I mean, it is a discount movie after all. They didn't try too hard. Just kind of do that, you know. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. And now I'm going to make a... Um, just a text version of that here for the side. 
And now some actors. We need to find out who these two people are. Amanda Hug and Kiss. Now him. Let's do Ace McNeely. Okay, and all I want to do now is change the description a little bit to bring more um, violence and story into it, right? So can she trust him? And then there's this evil guy with the stupid mustache and so forth. Sarah started to feel as if she was in danger. Could it be that Boone was Mental Mercury, a superhero who battled Emperor Mind Reader? Sarah was in danger, but she had to find out the truth. And there we go, my little preview. I don't love the name of the actor up there, but otherwise it's looking good. It goes around all the way. Here's some text. A little bit is cut off over here. But otherwise, I'd say this is pretty fun. Now, as you can see, the only thing left to do is the side. There I'll put a blue gradient and I'll write eggplant to the rescue. I like how the front cover is all bright and happy and the back cover is dark and mysterious and it kind of shows the two sides of the plot. Good versus evil, the dichotomy of man. And there we go. There's the bargain bin full of our DVDs in the inconvenience store. I can't believe I'm with a superhero fully 3D DVD case with all the descriptions and pictures readable that you can check out with your own VR headset or just PC right now. Eggplant to the rescue. Perfect. So, perfectly inconvenient. It's in the right place. Your grandma can go buy this DVD and give it to you for Christmas, thinking it's a Marvel movie. So, thank you so much, Waljump Gaming, for letting me be a part of the Inconvenience Store. It was loads of fun being weirdly created with AI once again. Um, super impressive what you put together. I really have to learn to be better with GPT-3 because there's a lot of untapped potential there. And um, all of you, go and visit the Inconvenience Store with VRChat. You don't even need a headset. Many think you do, but you don't. So, check out that link in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe and leave a comment telling me uh, what you want to see next. Till then... Have fun with Stable Diffusion and all the other tools.